Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys mixing and mashing your beats one on one. You know, give you guys a little basic overview of how I go about mixing and getting my beats sounding loud for you know, putting on YouTube and SoundCloud and all that good mess. But if you ain't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can be updated when I drop some stuff and go on live. Hit that bell notification. Check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud. Also, to kind of just follow me on my social media and also join the Discord channel because we're trying to build the community and i'm gonna have some dope stuff happening in within the community and you're gonna love it so trust me on that join discord link in the description below for everything so let's get right to this now you guys been asking me how to mix and master how i go about doing it i did a brief little thing on my stream a couple so I'm going to make a little part series where I show you all the steps I go through when mixing and mastering my beats because that's something that you guys want to know. So first, I'm going to just play a little beat I just made, you know, recently. Uh, I just made a day, actually. And, you know, just we're going to do it. It's unmixed and everything. No effects, nothing like that. It's just unmixed and unprocessed all the way. So let's go. This is different. So yeah, I think I got the, oh man, I got to turn the limiter off. Yeah, the limiter was kicking in. I forgot about that. I should have turned that off. <laughs> should have turned that one off. Yeah, my bad. Heck yeah, limiter was on. But anyway, you get that. You get the you get the gist of it. That's that's what it sounds like. I said, we're going to do that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I had the limiter on, so the limiter was kind of crushing. I ain't... Yeah, but anyway. Yes, yeah, so that's the beat right there. As you can see, it's unmixed. All the channels are on Unity. And yeah, so show you my process. Now, first, what I usually do is I like to do a little cleanup and all that. I like to make two separate channels. I like to like leave one pattern with all my beats right here. Because when I mix them, when I mix my beats, I like to uh, have all the sounds playing at once so I can mix them all together. So I will always duplicate this first pattern and then, you know, uh, I would separate or split each channel individually by themselves so that way I still have one by itself with everything and then all the individuals so I can kind of you know arrange it. That's how, that's how I arrange it. All right now next step is the most important step and to really get the vibe is to what you want to do is you want to mix low. Now what that means is you want to take all your faders so you can highlight all of them or do it individually. If you just hold control and then drag across click and drag you can highlight everything and then bring everything down. And what I like to do is I like to start for real low and then bring my stuff up in volume until it sounds right or to it, you know, just kind of blends together. But since you're doing it this way, you need to turn your headphones up or your speakers or whatever you're listening to up to a good level. So I would turn them all the way up and then back them down a little bit so you have good stuff. But be careful when doing that because you can blow your speakers and all that. If say something cuts on or something plays, I, I like the. Uh, disconnect from my internet and all that kind of stuff so that way I ain't got to worry about that so let's go ahead and do this I'm, I'm gonna play each individual sound I'm gonna play the, the pattern right here as you can see I'm gonna play it and I'm just gonna bring each thing up one by one this is leveling pretty much and we're just gonna get that right balance of tracks and then I'm gonna go through an a b and all that so let's just do that right now I'm gonna do a live for you guys you know you guys want to see them in, in work All right, that sounds good to me. You might want to turn your speakers or headphones up to really listen, hear it. But yeah, that sounds really good to me. That's a nice little volume. That's, that's nice and loud right there. I move to the next sound. That 
that fits. Now, I also got a, a, a like a, I guess a order. I do stuff. I do my melodies and my pads and plucks and all the melodic sounds first. Then I do percussive sounds such as hi hats, uh, snares, claps, stuff like that, perks, all that. Then I do kick drum and then 808 or bass. That's my pattern because what you want to do is wherever you want the sound the loudest, you want to make sure you mix that last because the thing you mix the last is always going to be the loudest. Like Just like if you got a song, if you mix your vocals last, it's going to be on top of everything and it's going to sit right. That's how I do it. That's my methodology. But music and mixing is suggestive, so you do it your way. Let's continue doing this. So let's go to this sound next. Okay, now we move to my clap next. Also, what I like to do, I ain't put up here, but I like to have like a limiter or something like that. Uh, like some kind of, like not limiter, but um, basically a loudness meter. So I like to use my um, Pro L2 because it has the K scale. You can use whatever you want, any type of meter will work. I have to use the K scale because it's good for mixing and show you get some good headroom or whatnot. But also you can use like just a regular, uh, what's the thing called? Fruity, I forgot what it's called. It's the fruity something, damn. Uh, fruity like volume or level or meter. I think it was called fruity meter, something like that. I don't know, fuck. A wave candy, it was called Fruity Wave Candy. Yeah, you can use that, and you want to try to keep, keep your mix between, like, me, I like to do, like, between negative 12 and negative 6 dB. That gives you a lot of headroom to master in the end, so. But that's just how I do it. It gives me good headroom, so, you know. That's it, so K12 is always going to give you about negative 12 dB. Because zero right here is actually negative 12 in the regular scale, so that's why I like using K12, so I just focus on getting it at zero. As you can see, I'm just going one by one, bringing them up. Once they sound good, I go to the next. I don't, I don't, I don't stay on it and keep going on it. I kind of just like hit it, go, and keep it moving. So that's what you got to do. You just got to keep on moving. Don't stop. Keep Get that rhythm going. Now I'm going to my kick drum at 808. Now, once I got all the songs, you know, volume wise, I go through and start tweaking them now to get everything even better. So uh, the hi-hat can be brought down a little bit, maybe with the chant and all that. Just I'm just going to go through little by little and just kind of, you know, finesse it and kind of, you know, tweak it now. And that sounds about good right there. Now I'm gonna look at my meters. I should be hitting negative zero or hitting zero right here on the K scale. Okay, I'm a little bit hot. So what I'm gonna do is just control everything and bring everything down together. To the regular metering like right here, you'll see I'll be right around negative 12.
Well, actually, about negative 16. Well, on the RMS about. Yeah, peak about negative eight, but negative 16 on the goddamn um, RMS, which is really good. I got a lot of headroom, so when I start mastering this thing, I can really crank it and make it sound loud. And that's the basics of right there. That's part one, showing you just leveling. Like I said, the key to doing this and getting that right stuff is to mix low, meaning bring everything down, turn your headphones up, turn your speakers up, and then slowly bring each individual sound up one by one and just level them. Like, like I said, leveling can get, get you the best results when it comes through. It can be really powerful, but a lot of people don't focus on leveling because that's one of the most the fundamentals of doing it. You hear my kids over there throwing shit at my damn studio door. I'm going to whoop some ass when I'm done. And now I'm back. Had to go handle something. But anyway, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Leveling is the key to getting a good starting mix. And then rest, I'll go into the next details and tell you about effects and panning and all that kind of stuff to kind of make stuff sound, you know, more cohesive and also putting effects on your stuff to get a good mix before we get to the mastering stage. So, if you like this video, thumb it up. If you didn't like it, kind of know there's going to be one hater out there. Thumb it down. Also, like I said, leave a comment below if you got any questions or if you got any suggestions or anything like that. Well, yeah, just let people know, you know, talk, tell us your process, what you do and how you feel about that. So I know how I can help you guys out even further with this. Whatever you said, hope you guys enjoy. Like always, you know who it is, your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different. You're not, not motivated by the money, but the like, comment, subscribe and views and the support of my people. FL game, different game. Y'all know nappy head game. So with that being said, we gonna enjoy it always. Hope you guys enjoy, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.